Man, you already know what it is, man. John Diesel, man, you back at it like a real trap addict, man, again. I'm tapping in with y'all, man, again. You know what that clock say, man? You know what time it is, man? Nice and sunny out here, man. At the trap, at the bando. See, y'all motherfuckers don't know. Y'all y'all be saying trap. Y'all don't even know what a trap house is, man. <laughs> Anyhow, man, look. So, motherfuckers be like, damn, Diesel, why you be going hard, man? On the comment section. Motherfuckers on the street. I done ran to a bunch of motherfuckers. Diesel, man, I... Real quick. I pulled up to FedEx, right, with a driver. As soon as I walked in, a homie from L.A. No. From Coachella. My bad. Homie from Coachella was like, hey, Diesel. And I looked over. I'm like, what's happening? What's going on? Right? He wasn't posing no threat or nothing, so it, it was all cool. You know what I'm saying? It was all love. What's happening, man? I fuck with your channel. And, and he's a truck driver. You know what I'm saying? So, even better. You know what I'm saying? But anyhow, back to the video, right? I just thought I'd throw that in there because when you out here, when you're doing a YouTube channel, you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers gonna know who you are. Motherfuckers know who I am anyways. You know what I'm saying? I don't need to be making no YouTube channels and shit like that. Motherfuckers on the street know who I am. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Anyhow, look, so here we go. Motherfuckers be saying, oh, Diesel, why you be going hard, man? Uh, why you be why you be getting at these YouTubers, at these rappers? Why you going at these motherfuckers like that? And whoa, whoa, whoa. Look, man, I'm just keeping it real, man. Straight the fuck up. And another reason why I be going hard is because I am hard, man. Real talk. You know what I'm saying? I've been to a place in life where most of you motherfuckers will never go. Don't desire to go. We'll never go. You'll never get there. You'll never be there. You don't want to be there. It's nothing to brag about. But I'm just telling you that you ain't been to a place where I've been in life. You don't know what it is to be doing bad on the street, strung the fuck out on dope. You know what I'm saying? With your pockets on empty, on E, and you trying to get high, you're not feeling good. You know what I'm saying? Struggling. You know what I'm saying? Living on the streets, man. You don't know nothing about that. You know what I'm saying? Again, that's nothing to brag about. Who the fuck wants to be on the streets? But that's a place in life where some of us have been there. You know what I'm saying? You know? Here go another one. Ain't none of y'all had no 50 bands in your pocket. You ain't never so dope on the corner, man. You don't know what it is to be balling out on straight street corner hustling money, man. You know what I'm talking about? You don't know nothing about that, man. You don't know what it is to have a crew of motherfuckers behind you and ready to go get down, man. You ain't never used one of these things, man. You know what I'm saying? You ain't never been in the hospital bed dying, man, with bullets on your body, man, on your last breath. But your mama standing next to you crying because you about to go. You know what I'm saying? Damn, there a flat line, beep, 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 you know how that shit be? I got eight bullets in my body, man, three three separate occasions, man. Again, nothing to brag about. But I'm just telling y'all who the host is, man. Y'all want to know who the host is? Y'all want to know who John Diesel is? That's me. And all this shit has been documented. You know what I'm saying? In the county, fighting for my life, 50 to life, shit like that. All kind of 115s and DA referrals and acting stupid in prison. You know what I'm saying? Did about 15. I gave the state about 15. You know what I'm saying? Juvenile hall and that, that, you know. Anyhow. But, um. You know, you know, you, you, you don't know what it is to run a street corner, man. To be the man on the block with the dope. Going out, out of state handling your business like that, man. You know what I'm saying? You don't know what it is to be in them interrogation rooms, you know what I'm saying? When they trying to break you down, but you don't break. You know what I'm saying? They break. Because they end the they, they, they end the interview because they can't get nothing out of you and they're wasting their time. I go to sleep on their ass. <laughs> yeah. I done been in that motherfucker a few times. If you want to know a little bit about the history of the Border Brothers versus the Norteños and the shit that went down in the early 90s, you can Google all that. Just put down Border Brother uh, Murders. But Norteños, just anything along those lines, just put that up and you're going to see what's going to pop up. It's going, it's going to go on forever. It's ongoing stories. You know what I mean? It's 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 it's, uh, it's not ongoing stories. It's uh, uh, never ending. Never ending stories, right? That's just with the Norteños. 
You know, we ain't talking about the beef that we had against the Sureños, the Southsiders from up here. You know what I'm saying? Real live gunplay. Because the town was hot, just like how it was in L.A. in the, in the, in the early 90s. Y'all know L.A. had a... Pff, L.A. murder rate was... Choom, you know what I'm saying? And Oakland was right behind it, based on its size. You know what I'm saying? That's why DJ Quick made that song. Oakland is just like Compton. Might be the other way around. Compton is just like Oakland. I don't know. It seems like everybody in L.A. County wants to act like the Bay now. Y'all know it. Y'all don't like the, ooh, oh, I know that hurts, man. <laughs> I know that hurts, man. Because all the raza, <laughs> all the raza in L.A. is acting like the Bay. Say they ain't. This is not a jab at L.A. because this has nothing to do with it. It has nothing to do with This is just from a hip-hop standpoint, right? <laughs> all the, uh, all the Rasa from L.A., this generation, they want to talk like they from the Bay. And they want to rap like that, too. Come on, man. Shout out to Lefty Gunplay, who's one of the hardest in L.A. right now. I ain't gonna lie. He got it. Shout out to Lefty Gunplay. Boy, that man be spitting. And it's not really too much what he be saying. It's just how he be switching his delivery. You know what I'm saying? See, y'all motherfuckers be rapping the same style on every song. That shit just, just that's boo-boo, man. You got to flip it up, man. You got to sound different. You got to come with a new style damn there on every song. That's how it is nowadays. Before you can identify a rapper based on how he wrote oh, that, that's his style, that's how he raps. But nowadays, rappers down there sound different on every song. Unless you got a super hard delivery that you can stick with that your whole time, you know what I'm saying? Your whole way, then it's different. But most rappers nowadays, like from them, them down south rappers, they switch up on every song. Versatile, you know what I'm saying? But anyhow, look, I'm way off track, man. This ain't got nothing to do with no punk ass rap. Nobody talking about no punk ass rap right now, man. Cut that shit out, Diesel. Man, look. So anyhow, look. What I'm saying is, right, y'all motherfuckers ain't been through that shit, man, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? A lot of you guys have, you know what I'm saying? A lot of you, a lot of your viewers have. I know a lot of viewers just be sitting there watching, listening to us, right? Listening to a lot of these fake-ass YouTubers, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of these YouTubers be on, the, be on that fake story shit, man. Because you can't, there's no way to verify, there's no way to put a stamp on their story, you know what I'm saying? Can't nobody put a stamp on your story, man, you know what I'm saying? That's why I don't like. I don't really like telling prison stories or YA stories unless somebody was written up. And most of the time, if he was involved in some some something involved in prison with with it, with it, with uh, uh, physical altercations or, or weaponry or whatever the case may be, it had to have been written up. Because nowadays, on the removal, you got to go to the back with him. You got to go to the back with the victim. Y'all know how it is. See, back in the day, nah. The glory of it of it was doing a pegada and getting away with it. That was the glory. You know what I'm saying? That's why a lot of these dudes were made and never got and, and came home. You know what I'm saying? They didn't catch life sentences. Now, you want you're gonna go do a pegada and you kill this dude, you ain't coming home, buddy. You see what I'm saying? That's that's why the the uh, the system is, has changed. But I don't even want to talk about that, right? This has nothing to do with that right now. I'm talking about what y'all been and ain't been through, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna let y'all know um the real, you know what I'm saying? So like I was saying, though, um, yeah, man, you motherfuckers ain't been through none of that shit, man, you know what I'm saying? You know, a lot. there's a lot of lucky motherfuckers that never got caught, too. There's a bunch of y'all that never got caught, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not speaking to the viewers now. I'm not speaking to the viewers. I know a lot of viewers. A lot, I got a lot, of, a lot of people that I know that are viewing my channel, right? And I know they get in, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just talking to a few of y'all that be on the comment section bumping your gums and and saying nonsense, saying stupid shit, man. It's like, man, come on, man. Nobody want to hear that fake, weak-ass shit, man. I ain't never going to see you. We ain't never going to bump heads. You know what I'm saying? Like, Santo G was saying in the video, I just seen it. Like, a lot of you motherfuckers be yip-yapping, and we don't even know who you are. You know what I'm saying? Who the fuck is you? You know what I'm saying? Come on, like, who am I going to go up against? I'm going up against a ghost? Like, who am I even responding to? It's like, come on, man. Cut that weak-ass shit out, man. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of you other motherfuckers that be talking that nonsense, man, putting extras on your stories, man. <laughs> yeah, man, whatever, man. Yeah, man, sure, man, yeah. You ain't fooling me because I didn't seen it all. I didn't been there, you know what I'm saying? You can't fool. There's a few channels that you just can't fool. You see what I'm saying? You can't fool some of us. We already know, especially when it comes to them level four stories or if you say you was on a level four or whatever or whatnot. Yeah, Wes Watson, you know what I'm saying? And I don't even want to get to naming names, right? But um, just be fake shit, though, right? But look, but anyhow, look. Let me, let me, those of y'all that have been following me, right? 
Y'all know that my um that uh a family member of mine got ragged, right? You know what I'm saying? He got hit coming coming out of a store. You know what I'm saying? And um I'm gonna try to go around the story, right? Because we ain't going to court anyway, right? We don't matter. You know what I'm saying? We're not going to court, so he he lucked out. You know what I'm saying? No need for me to say anything. So it was cameras, right? So, I mean, and there was other stores, retail stores around there that had cameras. You know what I'm saying? So, fuck, I look like going to court. Now, the DA sometimes wants you to go to court even though they have a slam dunk case. They want to have a, a slam dunk, slam dunk case. So if they have the camera plus the plus the victim and the witnesses going up against the defendant, that, that's what they want you to do. And the reason why I'm doing this story because the police just came to my house again talking about, can you gonna come to court? <laughs> man, come on, get up out of here, man. Go, man, go, go, man, go. Nobody wanna talk to you about it. That's how I told him to. I said, look, bro, don't come over here no more. Nobody's going to court, man. Let that shit go. He was like that. He just walked away. Sheriff. Sheriff. You know what I'm saying? But it don't matter, right? Look, so we're not going to court, right? Not. Right? I punched dude in the mouth with the zapper in his hand. <laughs> yeah, like you're going to scare somebody because you got the zapper on me. Man, come on. Cut this shit out, man. You know? Like I said, I don't, like, when I'm out in public, man, I'm cool with everybody. I'm not out there looking for no trouble. I'm trying to be peaceful. That's why I'm allowed to go to all these streets and to all these neighborhoods, right? Because I'm not looking for no problems. And plus, I know people from all these prospective areas, right? You know, I fuck with everybody. You know what I'm saying? I'm not looking for no beef, right? But if you bring it, we're just going to have to go there. See what I'm saying? This man pulled out the zapper like he's about to punk somebody, and he got punched in the mouth. You know what I'm saying? So in return... He let some of them things go, right? We was wrestling for the zapper. You know what I'm saying? Thank God nothing else happened, but I almost got yapped. You know what I'm saying? I almost got zapped. You know what I'm saying? But that's what I be telling y'all, man. Ain't no sucker shit around here, man. Dude, dude pulled out the zapper like somebody about to like, man, cut that shit out, man. You ain't scaring nobody. You can't do nothing to me that ain't already been done to me. See what I'm saying? I didn't been through the worst of the pain. For, oh, you going to jail? <laughs> and, what that mean? I'm going to jail. So what? You know what I'm saying? In the hospital bed dying. <laughs> no, it already happened before. You know what I'm saying? So what I'm saying is like, you motherfuckers can't do nothing to me that ain't already been done to me. You know what I'm saying? And that's the hype that I be on. You know what I'm saying? No sucker shit around here, man. You know what I mean? You know? On a level four, when they want you to go do something, and you got to release them. What you going to do, huh? Tell me what you going to do. What you going to do when they want shit on... You going to shit on yourself, man. You going to lock it up, man. You going to knock it the fuck off, man. All you motherfuckers be talking all that shit about these non-actives and, and who's this and who's that. Man, keep your mouth quiet, man, because you don't know nothing about none of that shit, man. If you would have been up there too, I promise you, you would have PC'd up as well, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying? I paroled from Salinas Valley on a 180. That was my last stop. Facts, man. That's where I paroled from. I, par I came home from the 180. All right? <laughs> yeah. Y'all hella weak, though. That's what I'm saying, that you guys ain't been tested to the fullest extent where your life is on the line where you might not make it out like I be saying I'm, I'm fortunate to be home and a lot of you other YouTubers and I know some of y'all is lucky to be home too mm -hmm. I've been said this in a few of my videos you know saying some of y'all some of us are supposed to be in there right now because we got that an animalistic behavior even though we're trying to make changes now animalistic behavior that lion heart that love nigga like what's happening like, it don't matter. Oh, Diesel, man, but you got a few trucks, man. Why don't you cool down? No, it ain't no cooling down. I show respect, and I respect everybody around me. And that's why, like I said, I can pull up anywhere. And it's all like, what's handing? What's good? Because they know my get down. You know? 
I'm not gonna send any of these little youngsters on any on any missions. But what, that's what I used to do. But I'm, but like I'm not gonna send a youngster to go ruin his life. Nah, I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try them to get him to go the, the 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 right way. But if he doesn't choose to go the right way and he wants to do his own thing, that's fine. Let him do what he want to do. He gonna learn. He gonna learn. You can only do so much for these youngsters, right? Now I've been on the street out there, you know, talking peace talks with everybody, with the blacks, everybody. You know what I'm saying? Because I grew up in Oakland, man, so it's, it's it's all love with the blacks. It's all cool. But down down in the L.A. area, it, it's, it's not like that. Like the older cats, they don't they don't fuck with it. This new generation, brothers, blacks out there, they they kind of like more, you know, they're more in tune with the with the, with the peace, right? With the with the with you know, because the raza is starting to pick up this new swag, so you know they're able to communicate a little bit better. But the older Morenos, they still got them, they still got memories, man. It's of, of love lo loved ones they lost when it was cracking in the 1990s. In LA, y'all know how it was in, in Southern California, not just in LA, just Southern California, how it was racially divided in the in the early 90s and 80s, late late 80s and early 90s was it was just wild. And, and not only that, the Crips and the Bloods were going at it, crazy. You know, versus the Raza, the Raza was going up against all the Morenos. You know what I'm saying? See, and we didn't grow up that way. We grew up in that time when the, when in LA when that stuff was going on in LA we was in in Oakland it was the border brothers against the norteños there was no sureños there was there was no southerners no southsiders it was us versus the norteños and it was on and cracking the whole like pretty much the whole bay area because in San Francisco they had 19th street going at it they had the sureños going at it with 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 the norteños out there Richmond too them three cities was like the top three main cities where it was really cracking in the 90s. Richmond, they had all the Sureños going up against the Norteños from from the, from the surrounding areas. And and you had um, San Francisco, the, the Sureños from 19th Street over there going at it against all the Norteños. You know what I'm saying? And in Oakland, you had us going up against all the Norteños. So that's the kind of shit that we experienced in the 90s. And a lot of our neighborhoods are surrounded by blacks, right? So... If they got caught with us at the shootout, they would pull out pistols and bust back with us because they're right there with us. You see what I'm saying? So that's how in Oakland we've had good relationships with the blacks, man. You know what I'm saying? Where we've been able to use their pistols, right? And, you know, to go handle business because they're right there next to us. You know what I'm saying? We've been able to click up like that because they're same thing with the northerners. They got blacks around their neighborhoods. If we pull up on them, the blacks from that area are going to back them up. That's the way it goes. That's how it is in the Bay. If you got, if, if there's Rasa in Hunters Point or in Sunnydale in San Francisco, if they're beefing with the with the Rasa out there, the blacks probably gonna get involved too from that area. You know what I'm saying? That's just the way it is, and that's pretty much how it went in the '90s up this way. You know what I'm saying? And down that way, it was totally different. But what I'm saying is, a little incident that happened with me. Oh, I ain't going like no sucker though. Punched him right in the mouth. Bam, boy, what's happening? Like, like you about to scare somebody because you put this, you pulled the zapper out on me, and it's all on camera. You know, wrestling for the motherfucker. Are we wrestling for the thing. You know what I'm saying? Shit going off, going crazy. Man, come on, man. Y'all don't know nothing about that. You would shit it in your pants, man, and you know it. Anyhow, man, enough of the bullshit, man. You already know what it is, man. John Diesel, man. 3900 on. <laughs> yeah, I'm gone.